Ecuador, the one and only Marlon Chido Verde. There he is. Wow. Rocking the Knicks jersey, huh, Marlon? I like that. Uh, if I'm coming to talk to you, I got to bring something, you know. Respect, you, my You brother. always bring something to the table, so I got to bring something to the table, too. So when I jumped in my car, I was like, fuck, what's my shirt? And I knew it was here in the car. I love it. I love it. Congratulations, my friend. I was watching you. I wasn't at the fight. I wasn't at your fight. I was at the one at MSG. You were going to, but I was watching you live, my friend. I know. It was incredible. I was a little worried after the first, just a little bit. What was going on in your mind after the first round? What were you thinking? Um, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I was, I was just making readings. I was, um, I was, I, I, I was finding him out, you know, when you go in there and fight, you know, that's a new soul. That's a new person. That's somebody you never fought in your life. So you gotta get at least a couple of minutes of reading and, and checking out and, 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 and figure, and figuring things out. But, you know, I I wasn't there, you know, I, I was reading, I, I, I was trying to figure him out. And, you know, after the first three minutes, I was like, cool, I got you, I got you. So, you know, I, I train, I prepare myself like for the hardest fight of my life. And it was a good fight. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the outcome. I'm happy I won five rounds. I felt uh, one, if I could be stopped, Earlier, because you know, why get that much damage? But at the end of the day, that's not my problem. You know, I give it to you until the referee stopped me. And two, you know, my first main event, I went five rounds. So, you know, you never know until you know. Now I know. How did you feel in the week leading up to it? You know, first main event, you're getting a lot more attention, a lot more media. You're the last guy. You're going 25 minutes. Were we were we nervous? Were we anxious? What were we feeling leading up to the fight? This was a big deal. Um, it's a huge deal, and I just knew. I just knew uh, I'm gonna be able to deal with more. I got more cameras on my face. I got a camera crew. Three weeks before the fight, I have a camera crew. The entire fight week, I have a camera crew on Friday. You know, and they, you know, even if you're cool and you know how to do it and you play the game and and, and you know how to keep your energy, it's still sucking out of you. It's still like a distraction. But I said this before. Sometimes a month before a fight, you know, you're like, fuck, I'm feeling good. I'm, my weight is good. I'm ready. Yeah, but you're not fighting a month before the fight. You're fighting whenever the fuck, you know, the dot, the dot line says, you know, April 30th. Doesn't matter what happened in the world, that day I have to be ready. So it's whoever handles it the best, you know, there's a lot going on and always there will be more going on. How you handle that is how you show up to the fight. So I just, you know, I just feel I know how to play the game. I know how to handle myself and I know how to keep myself uh, calm, cool, and collective and stay sharp, stay focused. And, you know, it's just part of the deal. The bigger you get, the more attention you get. But at the end of the day, I pay attention to the inside. The inside is the most important. If everything is okay, we're good to go. And I make sure I'm always checking on myself, the people around me. I trust them. I know they're checking on me. I know they're making sure I'm good. So I think we're in the right path, Ariel. We're in the right path. Yes, and I want to ask you about the path in a moment, but uh, he missed weight by two and a half pounds. Was there any part of you that uh, thought, I'm not going to do this? Historically, someone misses weight. No, you didn't think about that. I know. Dude, when guys say, I will fight you for a couple pounds, I'm like, how much of a difference that will be? In my head, in my head, I'm thinking, you if you if you didn't make weight, there's you know there's a couple of things going on, you know. But if you already lose that fight, most likely you're losing the other fight because the last two pounds, I was fucking sucked the fuck out. I was tired. I was everything, everything on the negative side. Everybody is there, but you gotta know how to go through hell in order to see the light. So I, I, I did my job. And then, of course, Sean Shelby came on Saturday on Friday morning and said, hey, man, like, you know, this is the first time somebody missed weight on you uh, in the past. If you don't, if, if you say you don't want to fight, cool. Like, no hate. We won't push you. We won't talk shit. Like, I'm like, Sean, you know you're talking to me, right? And it's like, no, I know. I'm just, 
I'm just being professional. I, I, I'm doing my job. I'm like, I appreciate you for that. I'm like, that motherfucker can be a, a hundred pounds bigger. I'm fighting tomorrow night. Because I can find a way out. He's like, oh, fuck yeah, no fight. Woo, pressure is out. Let's go home with half my purse. But fuck that. You, you don't get the experience. You don't get to get your feet wet on the deep waters. You don't get to go championship rounds. I was like, I told Sean, I'm fighting tomorrow night. If this guy collapses and he's not fighting, you bring me a 45 or you bring me a 35 er we fight it tomorrow. I need this. You know, fighting is, fu- fighting is fucked up. Fighting is hard. Fighting your mind, your, your, your heart, your soul go through everything. But again, it's how you handle it. And I was ready to fight. And I'll be ready to fight because that's what I do. I'm, I'm a consistent person. I stay in the gym. And there's only one thing I, I do. is train to win fights and become a world champ. So he was laughing. He's like, I knew. I was like, you think I would, sell it? I would, I would use it to find a way out? I'm the biggest pussy if I did. I'm, I'm the biggest. I, I'm a weak person if I'm like, oh, yeah, you don't make weight. That's not professional. I'm out of here. Fuck that. <laughs> Let's go. What'd you get? 20%? You got 20% of his 20%. And, and I'm going to be honest to you. I told Sean, like, hey, whatever is the average, give me that. I wasn't trying to get crazy, like, oh, give me 40, give me 50. I'm like, I don't want his money. I work for my money. But, you know, those are the rules. He fucked up. Thank you. But at the end of the day, I never focus on my opponent. I focus on myself. So when they tell me, like, this is your new, like, this is what you're going to receive, I'm like, cool. But I'm not trying to, I don't want no one's money. I want my money. And I earn it. How do you feel about the fact that you were the underdog? I don't see those things, man. I don't, I don't pay attention to that. Like, a lot of people ask me, like, hey, but I'm like, bro, not to you, right? There's some yeah, yeah. friends or family, whatever. I don't give two fuck about who's the underdog, the super dog, the, the metaverse dog. <laughs> it's a fucking fight. Just let's go. Let's, let, let's get in there and, and let's get paid. Let, let, let's climb the ladder. Like, I'm not seeing who the fans support, who the UFC is pushing, who the media push, who they put five or eight. You know, I don't give two fuck, man. I'm too busy training, too busy trying to get better. I don't, I don't, what, what, what Adesanya says all the time, like, fuck the noise. I love that, like, that's one thing that gets sink on the, on the back of my, of my brain, and I'm not paying attention to, to nothing. I got way too many things around me, family, friends, kids, to be focused on, like, little petty shit like that, so, fucking living a good life, Ariel. Hey. Happy man. That, it worked for me, because you were my underdog pick of the week. I was like, oh, because every week these days I've been picking an underdog, I was like, "What? Cheeto Vera's underdog? God, I mean, this is going to be the easiest one." No, and that's, and I'm not trying to be disrespectful yeah. to Rob, but I was just surprised. To me, it, it, it didn't feel right that you were the underdog. I didn't. I, I swear to God, I didn't realize underdog. Like, I'm not trying to see those numbers. No, I, know. I don't even know how to go to see that. Yeah, for it's for the best. Like, I I heard like, oh, you're the underdog. I'm like, cool, cool. Now, what about yeah, in that know. second round? You dropped him. It looked like you were very close to finishing him. What did you think? It was close to finish him. I think like one of those ones, uh, he kind of like rushed to the single. Like, and he did a good job getting up. But in the, in one of the knockdowns, the, the bell just ran off. I think the one that the bell ran off, it was the closest one to finish him. And I was just like, I was kind of surprised. Like, you know, in the past, you know, if I drop somebody, you go for the kill crazy. This time I was very focused. Like I dropped him. And even when I was going down to fall him to the ground, I was almost like taking my time to get there. Like I was just trying to fight smart, but at the same time be as violent I can. Like I was throwing with some heat. And I know he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a big guy. He cuts a lot of weight. And that's why he punched kind of like hard. But I'm like, are you a gifted guy that punched really hard because you're a powerful man? Or you just got to cut a lot of weight, and that's where you punch kind of far. So that's a different power too. Um, and I knew he cuts a lot of weight. I, I I saw him before out of out of camp. I was like, holy fuck, who's that? What? Oh my god, that's a 35er. 
He's huge, but oh, I thought you actually saw someone walking by when you said that. I thought someone just walked by your car. When you no, said... no, no. <laughs> I, I was talking. I was talking. I, I was talking right. like when, when on times and time on the bus. I was like, yeah. "Oh my god, this guy is ginormous!" But you know, I just feel like you know, just just cut the right amount. You know, just cut the right amount, whatever. But talking about back to the fight, it was just like I felt like the whole time. I own it, like the whole, mo like, even when I was going for a walk, going side to side, like I was pulling him towards me, I was like, I just, I was just, I was just present there. I was, I was fighting there. I was, I was seeing everything and I just felt like, that's why, I, that's why I was so uh, concerned about the fight, don't get in contact with him, you see, because I was like, I, I really need this. and. What I showed on Saturday night was a big why I really needed. Because you need those fights to show the improvement. And now that you show the improvement, they get to sink on yourself. And now, moving on to the next one. How'd you feel after 25 minutes? I feel great. I was laughing after every round with Coach in the corner. Amen. And Coach, Coach is funny, dude. He's like, oh, you little shit. He came to me one of them. He's like, ah, oh, little shit. You like to make me talk too much, but this is a cute karate kid. And I was like, thank you, coach, for teaching me those things. <laughs> and he was just cracking up. And we, we were having a good, we have a good bond with Parillo. And so in, he just knows me. He knows, he knows everything. He knows if I'm tired. He knows if I'm getting a little overwhelmed. He knows if, 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 if I haven't figured it out. So he was leaving. We were talking for 20 seconds out of the, the minute rest. And he, and he, he, he was leaving wow. before, before the time because the, he was, he used to say what I need to hear. It's like, she said two or three little things and he goes to the back and I just, I just breathe. I, I'm, I relax. It's a good gimmick. I think that, that also helped to put performances like that and don't get tired because it's, it's, it's 10 more minutes, man. I'm like, we train, at least me. I'm a, I take my job seriously. I train year round. And if you go in there and get tired, mm. 10 minutes, you're probably doing some shitty work. Were you surprised he lasted 25 minutes? I mean, you were nailing him with some big shots. Um, that's why I say, because everybody's tough, you know, and at the, at the top five level, which, you know, the dogs are like pretty, pretty good, pretty, pretty tough and pretty everything. I'm like, somebody should understand people is willing to die in there. So, mm -hmm. I get it. Some people is like, oh, I'm ready to die here. I say that and probably I'm willing to do, I'm, I'm, I know I'm willing to go to hell in order to win. But it's like, if a good coach probably will either throw the tower or stop it. Because I heard in round four going to fifth, uh, the referee asking, are you good to continue? And of course he said yes, but fuck, just look at his face, man. Like, mm -hmm. it's not worth it. But I, again, I'm not, I'm not a nice guy in that way that I'm going to hit you less. I'm going to try to make it worse for you because I'm going to be, there's a chance I'm in, the, in your shoes and you won't give a fuck about me. And I have a family watching and I don't want them to see me like that. And the only way that that happened is turning my ass off, being consistent and being true to myself. Like don't, I can lie to you right now and tell you like, oh yeah, I'm the hardest work in the game and then I'm just eating shit and, not training. I mean it. When I say it, I mean it. And I'm, I'm not fucking around. And I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm using these years of my career, the best years of my career, to do the best I can for the future. To be a a a, a good world champion. To go in there and beat those guys. I'm maintaining myself as long as I can. After I can have a little fun. I can. I can. I can take off training. I can. You know. But now, when I'm active, when I'm when I'm in the in the real deal, I'm consistent. I take it seriously, and I don't let these wins get to my head. In my right now, how I feel, Saturday night is gone. Like I'm not leaving of it. I'm not walking on the streets like, oh, cool. This is. I don't give a fuck what happens Saturday night. I'm already concerned about what's coming in front of me, and I'm already thinking what I need to get better what we can do to be healthier, to keep a, to keep a good way to train, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so afterwards you said, 
Aldo would be your choice, a rematch against Aldo. Do you feel like that could happen? Do you feel like that's possible or do you think it's a long shot? Um, now that I'm in the top five, basically, you know, I, I took number five. Uh, it's not too hard, you know? Um, uh, so, and since that was a close fight, I feel they can make it happen, you know? That can be easily title eliminator. You know, former champ against me, you know, he beat me. You know, back then, probably people were like, oh, I see, you know, ready. Well, name. I went back to the drum work, kicked three asses, come back, and I was like, oops, we're wrong about that one. Well, you got to prove people wrong. Now I'm here. I would love that fight. You know, it was it's something that me personally, I would, I, would let, I, would, I would like, I would love to take that one back. So I hope I can get it. It would be nice. I like the, I like the uh, cruise fight as well. Let's talk about that. Okay. Before, in the 10 times he declined to fight me, you know, I'm not calling him a pussy, but he declined a couple of times in the past. <laughs> <laughs> he was always talking he want to fight somebody above you. <laughs> Guess what? I'm above you right now, motherfucker, so now we can go. Oh, man. Now we can go. When was the last time now they tried to make go. this? Uh, they tried to make it when I, when I lost to Aldo. I was, you know, I was, I think, 14 or 15 back then. I was like, no, it's not worth it, blah, 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 you know, they're too low. Then they tried to make it before the Edgar fight. I was number, I was like 13. Yeah, I was 13, 11. He was like, oh, no, too low, blah, blah, blah. I need somebody to push me to the bell. I think if you beat number five, you can be pushed to the bell, homie. So... The war is out there. If you want it, come get it. What about Corey? Right here. He can get it too. We were supposed to main event <laughs> February something, and he wasn't available. I, I think it was her. He seems to be a fucking real one. So I can't talk shit if I'm not sure. I'm sure about Cruz saying he wants something bigger. Uh, with San Hagen, I don't know what happened. And if we're talking about everybody, Jan called me out too. So, Jan, you can come get it too. Anytime, any moment. So, bro, I'm not picky. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the type of guy like, I'm like, okay, out of these five guys, who's more winnable? I'm not, I don't think like that. I train too hard to think like that. I, I put everything into the line to think like that. So, any of those guys, we just talk. Anyone. We can fight. And this is not talk. This is not noise. This is not cloud. I fucking mean it. So I'll be prepared. And I was talking to Hunter uh, last night. Uh, I, and, you know, he said, like, hey, well done, blah, blah, blah. I was like, let's talk about the future, you know. So we, we probably will talk about it. Uh, we'll get something good on the, on the news. And then I talked to Dana, too. I said, thanks for the opportunity. Same to Sean Shaw. I was like, hey, man, appreciate you. Like, this is big for me. I really live in the dream. Fuck, and then he FaceTime and I didn't pick up the call. I didn't what? have the call. And then I called him back, but we, we couldn't talk. But he knows it's all love. I, my phone turned off around 12 at night on Saturday. And I was just like, we're just fucking chilling in some pizza. But um, we tried to talk in this week and just figure it out. But that one hurt me. Means that FaceTime call hurt me a lot this week. And I was like, oh, I was like I'm so sorry. I missed it. Man, you still got the call. Oh, Look whatever. at you texting with Dana and Hunter, getting the FaceTime. You've made it, Cheeto. You're 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 one of the players now. It's all hard. it's all work, man. You know, and I just don't let you know these moments feel fill my heart. These moments, like you know, just just having the chance to be like, hey, man, thanks for the opportunity. Like I really appreciate. This means a lot to me. And you know, and they just coming back to me. I'm sure they're happy. I I'm sure. It, they saw me from Ultimate Fire till now. They're like, fuck, this motherfucker made it. So I can tell they're happy to their leg. They're like, they can see the, the joy that I'm feeling. And I just think life is good, bro. I think um, when you do everything possible to achieve what you want, these things happen. It's like, it's really like magic happening, but it doesn't come just by wishing it. 
it comes because you just dig deep and you put everything aside in order to get one little thing, but the one little thing that will last forever, which is winning this memorable fight. You see, I think it was the, the 100 fight night near stand. We keep it a Honda. So I, I'm happy. I'm happy with my life. I've been happy with my life, and I just, I just want to keep this going. You know, keep creating things like this because the work never continues. I, Parillo was saying this already. Sometimes you never made it. Even when you made it, you never made it because if I stop right now, it's like nothing that I do is going to be worth. So it's always like you got to go until the next step, until the next step, until the next step. And, you know, enjoy the ride. Be, you know, with moderation, do, do fun things, but always until the next one, until the next one, until the day we depart from this beautiful area. But what I appreciate about you so much is uh, your confidence, like you're, you're oozing confidence at this point. You, you, you come across as a very confident person and your appreciation for where you, where you are at, what you have, where you've come from, how far you've come is a very beautiful thing. It's hard for me to even put it into words, but even when you talk about life and you talk about being content with what you have, but also wanting to continue to strive and not resting on your laurels, there's, there's an interesting combination that you possess, my friend, that quite frankly, I am, and when I say this, not in a negative way, like I am envious of that. I want that as well. I want that contentment, but that that drive as well. I, I, you don't strike me as, you're not a jealous person. You're not a, a, a person who looks down on others. You are almost living in your own little bubble mind, happy as can be, appreciative as can be, confident as can be, but hungry as can be to continue wanting more. Do you understand? Am I, am I making sense to you here? So you're so right. And everything you say is how I see things. And it's because, you know, it's not just me. It's the people I have around, you know, it's, it's my mother and my dad, my, my wife, my, my family, my, 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 my head coach, you know, my manager. Like, I feed from people and my, my, my friends, like the cool people I got to meet, like I feed from the little best I can find from them. I'm like, okay, this person is really good when, when something comes to their life, they, they figure it out, they strive for it. Like, oh, this person is really good at, you know, giving an advice. I, I like to hear other people talk. It's, it's like a never ending reading a good book. You always are like picking from, from the best and, you know, pick my people's minds and just, you know, just, just being content with, with the reality, be happy with what you have around because there's somewhere, someone that is in a really shitty fucked up situation and they will love to be in your shoes. Mm. But, you know, don't see, I'm not thinking, I'm not talking about the material, I'm not talking about the world. I'm talking about pure joy and happiness. There's, there's no price for that. And you cannot buy that. You can, you can buy, hang out with somebody. You can buy going somewhere. But you cannot buy tying your own pair of shoe and be fucking happy about it. And I try to be that. I try to be that. That's why... I don't, I don't mind watching my environment. I'm not looking left and right like, oh, why he this have that? Why he have that? I'm saying thank you for what I have. You know, so it's a hard thing to figure it out, but I guess when you do, you're just fucking happy. Like they say, laughing is a great thing to do. And we and the people that we are in the circle, my like my people, we just laughing. All the time, like the drive back to Vegas yesterday with me, coach, and my teammate, it was like a non stop laughing. And we weren't talking about the fight, we were just talking shit, talking, making jokes, driving. It was just like non, like five hours, just cracking up. On the dinner table with my family, kids, everybody, we were cracking up. It was like, I think that's life. I think that's the, that, that's when you real, really made it. So I think, uh, that's the only way to keep 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 going like that. Like just just enjoy what you have, enjoy what you have, and work harder for the other for the other stuff you really want. But that's about it. It's a never it's a never ending wheel going on, you know. By the way, I also love. I mean, again, 
I think you, you have a different hairstyle today than you did on Saturday. I've never seen you look the exact same twice in a row. It's crazy. Uh, no one changes their look more than you. It's so, unbelievable. You're like a chameleon. My, my, my wife last night was like, what are you doing? Because I was taking a shower and, now, and I saw my, my, my razor right there, like on the side. I was just like, don't tell me you're cutting your hair. I'm like, I swear, baby, I'm not. Uh, and then she opened the door and she's like, why are you cutting your hair? I'm like, I get bored of the haircut. I'm like, why don't you go to the barber? I can do it myself. <laughs> Every time it's so, different. Every time. And by the way, just, the the the, the Ruka shirt, you were kind enough to send me one. I love that shirt. It looks a little old school. I saw Action Bronson, our mutual friend, rocking it. I was like, man, is this, it almost looks bootleg. That's what I love so much about it. It looks like a shirt that you would get off the side of the street for $10. It has a classic feel. And that's a, a compliment that I'm giving to it. There's something like old school no, about know. it. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. No, yeah, 100%. The guys from Ruka, when they made the shirt, they told me, like, hey, we want to do, like, a picture of you with hand wraps. And we want to do, like, an old school, like, Mike yes. Tyson or Roberto Duran. And I was like, fuck yeah. I'm like, so we took the picture and they do the same shirt for MSG with the date and MSG. And for this fight, they asked me, like, what do you want? I was like, let's make the same fucking shirt without the MSG day because it's a cool shirt. Mm -hmm. And I just make sure... I send it to my loved one. Ah, that's my God. Because, because they always give me like a box for, for me to do whatever I want. I'm like, I'm not going to try to sell this. Like, I just, if I see a friend, I give it to a friend. If I know somebody that we have a cool thing going on, I send it to them. But I send it to everybody. I give it to everybody. Sometimes I was driving, roll the window. Hey, you want to show? Go for it. <laughs> and I think people like that. People feel, feel, people feel good. People feel good when you give them a gift. So. That's how, that's how you also make people laugh. Like when people were like, you text me, hey, thanks for the show. I'm like, that's cool, you know. I think people is always asking for things, asking, asking, mm -hmm. asking. I, I want this, I want that. Sometimes you give a little bit and that's how life works. Uh, two last things. By the way, uh, Aljo was on the show a couple of days ago or a couple of, He got mad at me because of our conversation. He says I was disrespecting him when I was talking to you. I don't think he's right about that. I feel like I've given him respect, but he's the champ now. Were you surprised that he beat Jan? <laughs> um, no. Um, Why'd you do that? Look, why did you, you just, just do that? Because why you go, like, not you, but why is like, why people cry about shit? Like, oh, you, I don't think you respect me. I'm like, I don't give two fucks. Even before you get to know me and you were giving props to guys that I was fighting, I would throw like a joke in there trying to talk shit, but it was more in a joking way. If you were like that, like, oh, I think you say that about me. Say, How old you are, you motherfucker? Like, did you have hair in your fucking balls? Act like a fucking man. If I say something about you and you laugh, don't get mad. This is a fucking interview. Like, you know, this is not like, we're not in a living room talking shit about another man. That's real. This is like an interview. But whatever. What do you think about the fight? Easy. Two and two, right? Two and two and three for starting for the back take and control. Very well done. Almost finished it, was trying, was punching, was active on the on the good position. Four and five, Yang came back, defended Tagon, kind of like kicked his ass. Everything goes back to that round one. We also Yang put in pressure. Maybe Yang won that round. But the two rounds in the back, they could be tonight. Because you are on a dominant position and you're hitting. So the judges could give the fight to Yang? Yes. Who was closer to finish the fight? So it, it's fine they give the belt to him. That's fine. All right. And I'm not hating on him. I, I don't hate on nobody. The guy's a little bit of a bitch. He's kind of dark. He's kind of dumb. Yes. He's a fucking champ. Good for you. Respect. Well, your prediction, and I've said it as well, I think you're fighting for a belt. When are you fighting for a belt at this point? You're, you're closer than ever. When do you think it happens? This time next year? What are you feeling? Um, I don't know the time. I would love if he's next, you know. Uh, I would I would take advantage of the momentum, but it's all it's all how the cards play on the top, you know. Sehuro wanna come back. If Sehuro jumps the line, they have to give TJ the number one contender. Um, it's 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 all how that plays on the top. At the end of the day, it's like I'm watching a show from 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 home, laughing. I'm letting all these guys like f fighting. That screaming, I'm next, I'm next. I'm just chilling. 
I'm like, cool. Like, I'm gonna get something. I'm I'm gonna get something good regardless. So I'm just like, you guys kill each other, waste energy and time. Uh, let the let in the UFC. You guys are next, and I'm just like fucking eating some popcorn and enjoying life. <laughs> I'm not in a rush. I'm 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 a young fighter. I'm healthy as fuck. So, you know. Something good will come. We'll see. 35 is incredible. What a weight class. There's so many great guys in that top five. And you mentioned Cejudo coming back potentially as well. Uh, so a big fight is coming for you next. Okay, last one. When do you want to return? Um, Anytime. Like, literally, You're healthy? Anytime. You're good to go? I, I do not have... Oh, come on, Jason House. Don't call me right now. Jason House calling you in the middle of the interview? I mean, it's my last question. I know. Come on, Housey. Come on. Do not fucking call me right now. I call you back. Um, nothing is hurt. Nothing is broken. Nothing is slow. So, like, really, literally, I can fight next month. Okay, wow. But when you're in the top five, things get slow. So I'm not expecting to fight that soon. But I am expected to be back in the gym in the next couple of days. Today, of course, you know, I'm going to take the kids for ice cream. I'm going to give my family back because they do so much for me when I'm in camp. And I'm also, I'm also honoring my body because he let me use the fuck out of him every day and on fight night. So I'm going to honor my body and my fucking soul and I'm going to give him like 40 hours to relax and just walk around the world like a free man and just relax. Just don't push myself back to the gym. Mm -hmm. But I'll be back in the gym on most likely Wednesday because I get bored. I really, I'm like, ah, oh, what do I do now? Fuck people is turning when I kick my ass. Ah, oh, I need to go. So I feel good when I'm keep the ball moving and I'm, you know, getting a sweat. I'm training, learning new shit, you know, grinding a little bit, but I just fought. So today and tomorrow, it's actually better when you rest. That's all. It takes confidence to be a, a little bit away from it. Not too much, but a little bit. You know, it's a, it's a balance. Keep life with moderation. You know, I literally got in a fist fight on Saturday night. So <laughs> yeah, 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 I need I need I need, I need couple 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 today and tomorrow to sleep well, relax, and then we re reset to motherfucker. Stop calling. Same guy, same Jason, same. Sa no, okay. no, different person, different person. Oh, no. my. they're all. Oh, people is aggressive. Uh, geez, Louise. Okay. I'm gonna be client, and don't you worry about it. Don't you worry about it. Uh -huh. But you know. Just giving myself a little bit to 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 be a hundred percent on but i I'm gonna train this week. I'm I'm ready to be back in the gym and just keep it going, you know. It's a never ending process, bro. You're you're a wanted never man. Ending. So I'll let you go. I can't wait for your return. Now, especially when you go back to Ecuador, it's gonna be a freaking they're gonna stop the whole damn place, right? They're gonna do like a freaking parade for you. <laughs> I know. You, it's gonna be incredible. We, we, we're going to try to go soon. I'm going to talk to my lawyer if I'm okay to go. And we want to do like a little, just go in there, do some stuff and just say thank you to the people of Ecuador that support me and give me all the love just for a couple of days. And of course, see, see my grandma, see my family and just yeah. hug it out with my family because I haven't been there since 2019. So I need to go in there and give a couple of hugs and kisses to my family. Well deserved, my friend. Very happy for you. Congratulations. Incredible stuff. And I can't wait to see what you do next. You are on a roll, my friend. Enjoy it. I appreciate you, my brother. Last kiss keeps on going. Amen. There he is. Cheeto Vera. What a win. And what a weight class. Like I said, best weight class in combat sports right now.